This is the Q200 frame that I'm going to be building out soon. Uh, one thing I mentioned about this frame is this middle plate is actually one millimeter thick and I've read numerous people have been breaking the arms right here, uh, right where the screw hole is, during crashes. Well, One thing I recommended you uh, doing is actually getting a second middle plate and gluing the two of them together so that you double up the strength of this little middle plate with only adding you know, just about 17 grams or so. And hopefully that'll give this arm a little bit more strength and it will survive crashes a little better. The first thing you have to think about when you're gonna build a 200 size quadcopter is what size of motors do you use? Well, these are 1806 uh, 2300 KV uh, DYS motors. I've been real happy with these. I've had real good luck with them and uh, haven't had any problems. So for this one though, you don't wanna have the uh, DYS motors just because they're a little bit heavy, a little bit big. You can use them and they will work but the recommended size are these 1306 kV motors. And this uh, package set, it's a DYS, they come with a forward and reverse shaft on them so that you can, you know, of course run them forward and reverse propellers. And this is kind of what they look like. So I have the motor out of the package. And this is the 1306 3100 kV motor, and this says counterclockwise. The counterclockwise means uh, righty is no longer tidy, it's loosey. So you turn it to the right like this and it starts to loosen up the threads, turn to the left, and it tightens them up. Now you can tell the difference because this one has, the other motor comes with a silver uh, propeller nut on the top, and this one just has a black one. But let's look at this. Uh, along with the motor, you also get these um, screws to, you know, screw it to the frame, and you get some uh, quick connects here, band plugs, and some uh, shrink wrap to solder onto there. But for this, I'm going to solder, be soldering these directly to my ESCs. But yet, I don't think people realize how small <laughs> these really are. So I'm going to compare it here to this original DYS uh, 1806 motor. When you compare these, oh gosh, when I saw the 1806 for the first time, I thought it was really small. And this one is just so much smaller. It's, it's just crazy. And here's a, here's a Sunny Sky motor that I have. This one actually had the uh, cords ripped out of it. But I mean, compared to this, this is a 2204, and this thing is, is just yes, massive compared to these uh, DYS motors, these uh, 1306. Now, the advantage of these 1306 motors is that they do spin at 3100 kV. And 3100 kV allows you to spin four inch props like this and actually get some decent performance out of it. If you try to run four inch props on your 2300 kV motors, you're not gonna get very good performance. But these uh, DYS motors can use four inch propellers or they can use five inch propellers. And here I'm gonna try to get these on here so you can see the difference. They, uh, it's pretty crazy how much smaller these are. It's, when I got these out of the package for the first time, these four inch motors, I just thought these things look like little toys. They're just so small. And if, if you compare it to a six inch propeller, it's just even, even more crazy. And you start to wonder how can this thing even get any lift out of it? A lot of the propellers you buy today come with a five millimeter hole in the middle. And let's see what this one is. This one is about five millimeters. And so to, because of that, more and more of these D, uh, motor companies like DYS and uh, Sunny Sky are changing their shafts over to, to five millimeters so you don't have to use the uh, prop adapters anymore. But let's see this one. This comes out at five millimeters. Good. No prop adapters necessary for this uh, motor shaft. One more time. Yeah. Good, you don't have to use the included prop adapters. That's one big benefit of having the five millimeter shaft is no prop adapters. Now these DYS uh, older models, they have a four millimeter shaft, so you do have to use the uh, prop adapter, but not these, thank goodness. Here we'll get a real quick close up view of these windings. Now, these don't look too bad. That one looks kind of bad. Most of them look pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh this thing. Uh, I'll weigh this one and then I'll compare it against this uh, 1806 brother just for you know comparison so you don't have to go look it up. This one weighs in at 13.6 grams. The 1806 weighs in at 24 grams. So this is about 11, 11 grams heavier than this. So if you're running five inch propellers, this is gonna do a lot better for you just because you know this one should be able to spin five inch propellers just fine just like this one will but because this one's you know 10 grams lighter it should be <laughs> a little bit a little bit better for you now i wouldn't recommend running 4s uh batteries through this 4s batteries through this have always done fine for me but don't don't run 4s through these unless you just don't want them anymore uh, these are supposed to support 2s and 3s uh, motors or uh, batteries just fine 
Anyway, this has been the uh, 1306 motors, and sorry I don't have any experience with flying these yet to uh, give you some you know, my own opinions, but I am going to be building the Q200 uh, quadcopter soon, and subscribe so you can see it when it gets released. And if you have any questions about this motor, please leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.